Hello, my lovelies, how are you? Today I am doing a little piece in my Jane Davenport Large Mixed Media Art Journal. I love this book so much. I'm painting a puffin. And what I'm going to do is mix a bit of watercolour, a bit of gouache, and probably some colour pencil and whatever else happens. So I'm starting this puffin, which happens to be one of my favourite birds in the whole world. And all my life I've always loved puffins, but I've never actually seen one in real life. One day I will, and it will be a glorious, glorious day. Anyway, so what I've done so far is the body in my uh, Daniel Smith Moon Glow, of course, because I Moon Glow everything. If you follow me, you will know that by now. Moon Glow, Moon Glow, everywhere, everywhere. And so I'm also going to use the Windsor & Newton Designers Gouache, which is my other absolute favorite medium. Now, I didn't want to just paint a normal puffin because, well, I couldn't just paint a normal puffin. So I'm kind of playing around and I don't know, just going to see what I come up with and how this little beauty evolves. Um, you know, I love pattern and I'm just going to go for it that way and see what, see what happens. So the colors that I'm using to make this orangey red now is the base of it is Naples yellow, which I am obsessed with. In designer's gouache. Naples yellow is just the most beautiful color. To me it is the color of the moment. And also a Bengal rose which is quite pinky. It's quite hot so I mix it with a bit of white just to bring it down a bit as well. So basically all the colors, all the gouache are variations on these colors. The Naples yellow and the Bengal rose with a bit of white. Um, and I'm just going to work those basic colors around to get different kind of peachy and red tones. So I've done the, what would normally be the black part of the puffin, um, the crown and the wings in this peachy color. To be honest with you, I don't know. I don't know about this. I don't know if I'm really pulling this off, but well, I've done it now. So we shall move forward. But hey, you know what? This is what the process is all about, right? I mean, this is what I do all the time. I make something and in the beginning I make decisions and then I go, oh, I don't know about this. I think I've stuffed this up. But we push on and we work through the ugly phase and we're, cause, cause you know, we're committed here. We're committed to this piece. I'm not gonna walk away. Although, you know, there is a side of me that still wants to just rip it out of the book and throw it away. But anyway, I don't do that. I don't ever do that because that's not how you learn. You know, you have to just keep going with it. You keep going and, and you see where it takes you and, and where it evolves to. And often, more often than not, it's pleasantly surprising. So I am doing this lovely pattern, botanical pattern with gouache over the top of the gouache. I quite like it now. I think it's it's made it work for me. It's brought it down and and and, and brought it together a little bit, having this having this pattern. I'm quite into it, especially on the feet. I quite like it. So I need a bit of background. I'm going for this kind of seagrass type look behind the bird. Um, this is a mixture of acrylic gouache and designer's gouache. Now acrylic gouache is a kind of mix. It's half acrylic, half gouache. I've got to tell you, it's not my favorite. Um, I don't know if it's because of where I live. Being in Australia and being in Cairns right now, it's, it's really hot and the acrylic gouache dries up on the palette very, very quickly. And then because it's part of the acrylic, you can't reactivate it and get it watery, which is the thing I love about gouache is that it's so, it's, it's opaque like acrylic, but it's smooth and silky and it moves around like watercolor. But with acrylic gouache, that doesn't work. Not for me, not in this climate. So I don't love acrylic gouache. Um, I suppose if I have one of those self-watering palettes, that might be better, but I don't have one of those. Anyway, I've, as you saw, I've added a bit of color pencil just to put a bit of depth in the pattern area. And I'm going to go ahead and use this ink. This is Ecoline ink uh, that I'm using to paint the part of the beak and around the eye a little bit blue. And I'm back to the Winsor & Newton gouache for the yellow. Um, this color here that I am now adding in is Windsor & Newton Designer's Gouache in Lamp Black. Now this Lamp Black is to die for. 
I love this. One of my absolute favorites. As you can see, you can get such a pitch black. It is just fabulous. It's matte and just deeply, deeply black. And it just has so much impact. Look at it. Isn't it fabulous? But being gouache, you can water it down a lot. And so you get lovely different smoky tones in there if you choose to. It's really a stunning color. I love it. So my friends, while I'm here, I also wanted to let you know that I'm going to be away for the next month. It's kind of an impromptu trip away. I'm actually going to be flying over to England to visit my dad because he's not very well at the moment and he needs a bit of love and he needs a bit of care. And so I will see how I go. I, I had planned to be posting up and all this kind of stuff, but you know, life has happened and I will definitely be on Instagram so if I'm not on YouTube which I will try to post up something but if I'm not then you know you can always find me on Instagram and I'll be there and because it's just a lot easier to post photos than it is to post videos anyhow um, I am now I've decided as you can see I've decided that we needed a bit more botanicals we needed some flowers some coastal flowers. So I've drawn them in with a pencil, just like, just basically. And I'm using the gouache in these shades of peach and this kind of, this kind of sky blue to fill them in. And you know what? I like it. I like it. It feels better now. The only thing is this blue doesn't match the blue that I've got on the bird. So I might have to paint over that. Um, but uh, don't you love gouache? This is the beauty of gouache. You can just paint right over the top of what's underneath and it's opaque and it's beautiful and oh gosh, I just love it. My lovelies, thank you so much for joining me in this video and watching me mess around in my art journal and play and explore. I hope this inspires you to play and explore in your art journals too and just to not bother about how things are supposed to look and what color they're supposed to be and just paint from your heart and, you know, put the patterns in there, put the colors in there, bring life to it, just do what you love and don't worry if it looks bad in the beginning, just go for it, just commit to it, just keep working on it and know that I am 100% with you. Bye.